Hi guys, I'm London Hughes and I'm reporting for BAFTA Kids from Backstage at the Children's Awards 2017. I'm so excited to be here. I can't wait to speak to all the award winners and some presenters and get all the gossip. So let's do this. We won everybody, we won! Mr. Peter Andre, how did it feel to present an award? Well, it's very nice. I mean, this is obviously a great place to be at. You can see that the atmosphere in the room is fantastic. And to be, you know, asked to present an award is 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 very nice for me. Look at you, look at we talk about the outfit first of all. Look at this. Oh look, I thought I'd just go a bit, I don't know. You've made an effort. It's not awkward, is it? I mean Oh look, see that? Effort. Just one of us, just effort. one of us made an effort. Look at us, don't we look like a girl band? Oh, oh look! Best girl band. We are little mix, kind of. Some Why didn't you make an effort? And that's the hurtful question. There you go, right there, that's where it was. So you're a pretty big deal in the YouTube world. How many subscribers do you have? Remind me, please. Just over 16 million. 16 million <laughs> subscribers. So what if there's someone watching this right now, a little kid at home, and they're like, you know what? I want to be like Dan. What yep. does he or she have to do? I would say just go for it. Anyone that I know that started YouTube started from whatever they could record a video on, where it's their phone, an old webcam. That's what I used to film my videos on. And then you just take it from there. It could be, could be you next. How was presenting an award at the Children's Bachelor? It's no big deal. Well, it's really exciting because we've never done it before, have we? We've never presented an award before. And they're so really? grateful, like, we, <laughs> yeah. you know, bought that BAFTA for them. So, and you the know, power, yeah. the I power know. when you open that envelope to Ooh. say who's won. I mean, you are making someone's day, year, probably career. I've never presented anything before. Really? So it was very nerve-wracking and I was a bit worried I was going to fall over, but I didn't. It was great because I got up there and I managed not to trip up in my heels. People are saying that they're worried about tripping up. Is this a big thing when you're presenting an award? Is that what you're thinking? I think, because you know, like you see on YouTube, these things like, the, you know, the worst ever moment and stuff. You just don't want it to be you. No. But then I would get 2.8 million hits and then, and then go viral. my life would change. Exactly. Yeah. Well, what are you doing at the BAFTAs? What are you doing here? Well, I've been here and I decided not to win one. <laughs> I didn't want to carry it home, so I thought, I'm not going to win one this year, but I'll settle for yet another certificate. Nadia's just won Best Presenter. Well done, how do you feel? I am so excited, still a little bit in shock. I'm just hugely proud of the whole team behind the show as well. Yeah, um, yeah mostly excited. So much of my life was spent in children's television, but now I'm a viewer. Yeah. I have two children myself, yeah. so just, you know, just to be here and celebrating what children's television has become now. You were quite nervous, you didn't have a speech prepared or anything. No, no. I d you know what, honestly, I thought I had more time to figure it out. <laughs> so, when they were like, perform my wood first, I was like, Thanks. Uh, it's heavier than I thought. Is it? Yeah. Can I hold it? Is that right? Yeah. Yes, it is. You talk to anyone about what children's programs they loved as a kid and their face sort of lights up. Can so you tell that, me... Like, lovely warm feeling in your heart of like, oh, I used to love that show and that show. And Can you tell me what show you used to love? Play Away. Blue Peter, of nice. course. Classic. Which is amazing because I just remember growing up watching it, loving it, and then now... The kids are obviously growing up watching it as well, so yeah. it's quite cool. We it have that in cool. common. Do you remember the Queen's nose? The Queen's <laughs> nose! Yes. I liked all the stuff that Ed did before I started being in all his stuff, like Ed and Outcho. I thought that was a, a tour oh. de force in kids' TV. Outcho. Ed Oucho. and Outcho. What happens to Outcho? Where is he? Have you heard He's, from him? Well, last I heard was uh, he was living in a greenhouse when Television Centre was bulldozed. Oh. So. <laughs> Tracy Beaker, <gasps> and I just said a bit about Jacqueline Wilson on stage, and she's there, and it was Jacqueline like the best Wilson. thing ever. Jacqueline Wilson is in the building, she guys. Is. I can report that yeah. she is here. You've just gone and won a special award. How does that feel? It was just, I mean, when I was told about a fortnight ago that I'd won this award, I just couldn't believe it. But how, how thrilled I am to, to be given it. I'm going now, and I'm going to have a meat page sandwich and think about Sue Barker. You do that. Some things never change. They never do. Oh. See you later, London News. Bye, babes. Bye. Who was that?